Of course, has just finished in Sydney, Australia 2, Denmark 0. And Australia are through to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup. And they will play France or Morocco for a place against either England, Colombia or Jamaica in the final. Of course, if Australia win their quarterfinal game and... Um, they obviously will play England, Colombia or Jamaica in the semi-finals. But yeah, um, I didn't really watch the first half. I was, I was just too busy on my phone. I was just too... I was just calming down after that eventful England game against Nigeria. But, but you know, Australia got the only goal from Caitlin Ford. Um, Denmark looked quite poor, to be honest. They didn't really offer much, so... Uh, yeah, but the second half, you know, I watched it. I what I did watch the second half, but you know, of course, Sam Kerr came on in the second half, so she has her first minutes of this tournament, which is good for her. And uh, for England, we isn't really quite good because if we if we if we beat Colombia or Jamaica, we could play Australia in the quarterfinals. So uh, yeah, whoever wins the France Morocco game, please beat Australia in the quarters, but. You know, I, I think at the moment, I think out of all the remaining teams that, that are left, I generally think Japan deserve to win the tournament because I think they've been by far the best team. Like, I think out I think out of the teams that are left, I think Japan are the best team, in my opinion. Um, But, yeah, you know, it is... It, you know, Denmark are disappointed. You know, of course they're going to be disappointed as they are out, but, of course, Aus Australia are through. Of course, Sam Kerr looks happy, you know, as I said, she got, she's got she got minutes in the tank. And, yeah, of course, Australia march on to the quarters. Um, I don't know when they play, um, but they'll probably play at some point on the weekend. Uh, but, yeah, um, you know, congratulations to Australia and uh, commiserations to Denmark.